Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel where as promised a tutorial on how to get my custom cell cow plate. Uh, quite a few people on live streams have asked how to do it and uh, I've promised a tutorial on on it so you guys can do it yourself. Uh, if you're new and you're checking out the channel for the very first time, very warm welcome to all of you. Please do click on that subscribe button down below and join us as a frequent flyer and uh, let me know how you get on with uh, your own custom plates in the comments below as well. So uh, we're at the uh, incredible Mako Simulations Manchester Airport, of course, and uh, there we are on stand parked up 51 in my custom channel livery. And let's head into the flight deck. And as you guys know, of course, uh, everybody's asking, how do you get that? So uh, I'm going to show you guys. Let's uh, head out of the simulator and go through to uh, GIMP. So here we are on my desktop and uh, there's my fantastic wallpaper that I've got for the channel. And uh, you're going to need something like GIMP or Photoshop to be able to do this. Um, whatever you're using, uh, I'm using GIMP um, in this instance, you need to make sure that you're able to convert the images to DDS formats, which the sim needs. And you also need the Fly-by-Wire A321X. But if you're using the default, the same principle applies. Uh, I'll show you guys the file you need. So head to your packages folder, community, wherever your simulator is uh, installed. You want to go to your community folder and find your A32NX folder there. Click into it and you'll notice there's a customize folder section. You want to go into that bit there and there's a readme. Give it a read, make sure you sort of understand there's only three points to it. But it'll tell you there, you need to convert it to DDS using NVIDIA Texture Tools. So you'll need a DDS converter tool for it. If you haven't got one on GIMP or whatever else you're using, then a quick Google search will find some GitHub links that will tell you um, how to download various things for you to be able to do that. And it says there as well, keep in mind the UV is a little distorted, so you need to play with it a little bit. And that's the file we want. So go ahead and open it in the program you're using. And you'll notice instantly that it's uh, all over the place and the cell car code is down the bottom and it's upside down. You now need to get whatever images you want to put into it. So if it's text or anything then of course you could just press the text button up here and stick your text in as you wish. But I've got some bespoke channel branding so I go to file, open as layers and I go ahead and add those in. So I've actually got the logo text in white and I'm going to start with that. And there we go, we've got a layer off on the corner on the right hand side. Control, scroll wheel, zoom out and I can find it up here. I want to click and drag that down towards where the cell cal code lives on the texture. On the top left you've got different tools and you want to right click on the perspective tool and you want to head to scale select that and left click into the image and shrink it. Click and hold and shrink it to whatever size you guys want it to be. And then of course make sure you use the move tool again, the shortcut is M and you'll be able to then move that about. Play with the scale a bit until you've got it however you like it. Right click into the scale and you want to flip it next. So uh, for this being text you want to flip it vertical and horizontal. And that's the quickest way to do it. You then want to right click it again and select perspective because as you notice the cell cal code text is slightly bent. So you want to click into it and just drag it out just a couple of degrees just to make it a little bit wavy. and uh, just sort the position out however you wish within the plate. File from the next layer, open as layers and I want my channel logo. So in that comes as a separate layer and as you can see it's massive. Um, I've got a really high quality logo that I'm going to have to shrink down. So uh, again same process, let's scale it, shrink it right down so it's tiny use the hotkey M to uh, move it about that's about right and uh, now we want to flip it 
So just a vertical flip will do for this. And then just work the position into whatever, whatever you're using, whatever texture file or anything you're using, just work it into the position you want it in. And again, don't forget to change your perspective. So slight little bend to it. And there we go. On the right hand side we've now got three layers. We want to merge logo two down. So that's now one piece. And then merge that down again to the A32 Neo cockpit main, main panel uh, to, the main, uh, to the main texture. So we've merged all the layers now into that one texture and you can see it down at the very bottom. All lined up and uh, looking quite nice. You want to then head to file export as and it will come up as the original file name a320neo underscore cockpit underscore main panel underscore albd dot png and you then want to convert it into dds so another dot dds and hit export and you'll then get a dds export pop up and i just hit ok so let's head back to wherever we've saved our A32NX and for me it's in my community folder and this time we want to go to back into the customized folder let's cut it go back one into sim objects airplanes A320neo texture and then you just paste it in and overwrite the file and that is it. Once you load in then if you've done it all properly and you follow those steps and it's uh, converted to a DDS properly you'll get that uh, whatever your logo or if you want to put your name in there for example um, whatever it's going to be specific registration aircraft for an aircraft it will be there ready for you. So uh, there we go nice and easy I like to keep things uh, fairly simple I hope you enjoyed it if you do give us a little thumbs up be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, let me know how you get on in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and be sure to join me for a live stream in the very near future.